eight weeks and 300 pounds to learn to get a room of people to fucking like me and you speak and you speak. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Ah, oh, are we all having, are we looking forward to the rest of this evening? Yeah. Absolutely. We have got a great mix of very funny people for you this evening. Real diverse set of individuals. And I think we can all agree, diversity is a great thing. It's allowed us to advance our society, mixing with people from all walks of life. And it's allowed so many more people to be better represented in today's world. I think probably one of the biggest advancements in diversity has got to be, um, you know, fucking women in the workplace. <laughs> so, not fucking women in the workplace, sorry. Got a bit mad then. then. Uh, sorry. Here for a penny, uh, give us a cheer if you're a banged a co-worker. <laughs> okay? Quite a few fucking liars or people here with their partners that they didn't meet at work. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, people still call it dipping your pen in the company ink. Feels a bit outdated to me, so I came up with a new term. Coming on the company's cordless keyboard. <laughs> I've got to be honest, a few years back, I was pretty bad for this. I passed chlamydia around the office like it was a fucking colleague's birthday collection. <laughs> yep, I just said that in front of 80 people. Fantastic. <laughs> But in fairness, I mean, it's, it's convenient I meet someone at work. Dating's hard. And it can be really expensive. Luckily for you, I've got some cost-saving tips. Did you know, for example, you can pick up free bunches of flowers? People give out complimentary bunches all the time. Just drive over a couple of motorway bridges and you'll find them tied to the railings. <laughs> then, just, just head down to the park, find a mostly full bottle of wine next to someone passed out on a bench. And if you're feeling really fancy, and you really want to get him a special present, just grab a teddy from a child's grave. <laughs> I know, I know. Do you know what, a friend of mine, a friend of mine did actually ask me for some advice on, uh, on, on his relationship recently. And it took me a little while to go back to him, but you know, when I did, I looked him dead in the eye. And I said, Rich, are you in love with the person that you're with, or just in love with the idea of being in a relationship? If you side eyeing your partners there, there's going to be some awkward conversations later. <laughs> and he did come back to me and he said, Dave, thank you so much. He goes, that was really good advice, but I really wish you didn't save that for my wedding toast. <laughs> <laughs> We're a sex obsessed society these days and it's trickling into the world of work. You know, most of my career I've been in recruitment and so I spent a lot of time on a site called LinkedIn uh, and even that's become sex mad. I don't know if any of you on LinkedIn have seen, people are starting to promote their OnlyFans pages through LinkedIn these days. That's just what I was looking for. A marketing director that I can watch sucking off strangers for six million a month. <laughs> to be honest, it's the benefits of home wanking. Working! <laughs> it does make me think, what's going to be next? We're going to get porn bots on LinkedIn. I mean, it's inevitable. And I figured if they're going to happen, I need to get ahead of the craze. I need to be the first one there. So if you're on LinkedIn, just look out, pictures of me, spread eagle, hanging brain with a caption, 10 things getting my dick out on LinkedIn told me about sales. <laughs> Turns out not so much. <laughs> but people are posting a lot more personal stuff on LinkedIn. You know, it's the social network, the business. People posting personal stuff. You know, a popular one, people talk about, you know, they post a picture of their kids with the caption, they are my why. And I was like, well, I want to do something similar. You know, I get good engagement, could be good for my career. I learned two very important lessons. Firstly, because I don't have kids, don't post pictures of other people's kids with the same <laughs> caption. You will be visited by the police. They will be looking through your laptop and they will be asking why you spend so much time looking for OnlyFans models on LinkedIn. Fine, back to the drawing board. What is it I like to spend my money on? What is it I work for? And this is where lesson number two comes in. Because according to HR, it is not appropriate to be posting pictures of me on LinkedIn surrounded by hookers and cocaine. <laughs> but the thing is, these posts, they are getting too personal, they are getting a little bit awkward. Like some of you might have even seen the odd death announcement on LinkedIn. Just some CEO talking about someone that used to work in their company. We regret to inform you that Mark passed away last week. That's not the funny bit, mate. <laughs> He died doing what he loved, selling car insurance. <laughs> what I would like is for the comments section underneath that 
to be as passive aggressive as the rest of the internet. Just getting co-workers that never really liked Mark. Just sort of commenting like the real shit. Well, who's going to take my salad from the fridge now, Mark? <laughs> who's going to be taking all the credit for my work? <laughs> the one that just goes for the jugular. I guess, just like your video calls, you're permanently muted. <laughs> Can you hear me now, Mark? <laughs> but it does make me think, how is death dealt with in the workplace? We don't come across it very often. You know, speaking as a recruiter, and anyone that's ever dealt with a recruiter, you'll know we are all self-absorbed dickheads. So we're just fucked off that we've got to replace yet another person in the company. IT are there, busy pulling virtual straws on Zoom, just trying to work out who's actually going to have to go into the office to collect Mark's laptop. And marketing, <laughs> well marketing are just working on the next social media post. Mark will forever be part of our family and we hope you'll join us in honouring his memory. You can do this on our website. Just enter the code RIP Mark for 20% off your next purchase. <laughs> I've been Dave Lenny, thank you very, very much.